In part one of Coccidiosis, the silent coop killer, we discussed its causes, side effects, and complications if left untreated, and the conventional treatment and prevention. This time, we'll delve into natural remedies and holistic treatments for coccidiosis in chickens. But first, let's do a recap of what exactly coccidiosis is. Coccidiosis is a parasitic disease that affects many animals, particularly poultry like chickens and turkeys. Coccidiosis is caused by single-celled coccidia parasites that invade the bird's intestinal tract, leading to symptoms like watery or bloody droppings, weight loss, dehydration, decreased appetite, and in the case of adult hens, decreased egg production, and ultimately death if the bird is not treated in a timely manner. One thing to note is that different species of coccidia target specific animals. Therefore, the disease is not transferable from one type of animal to another. In other words, coccidiosis is a species-specific disease. However, this does not mean that one species of animal will not contract coccidiosis when exposed to the same environment as another species that has coccidiosis. For example, turkeys and chickens cannot infect each other, but the conditions in which the coccidia parasite grows in a chicken's environment are also perfect conditions for the turkey coccidia parasite to thrive. Hence, each species could still develop coccidiosis without infecting each other. So it is very important to take the necessary precautions to keep these animals separate. In this video episode, we will continue to focus specifically on coccidiosis in chickens. We discussed in detail in part one that conventional treatments for coccidiosis often involve medications like antibiotics or anticoccidial drugs, which are effective against the dreaded coccidiosis if treated in time. You can find the link for part one at the end of this video. The conventional methods of treatment is equally important to know about because there are situations when the conventional approach might be the best solution to extinguishing the disease, particularly if the disease has already taken serious hold of your flock. But even so, there's a growing interest in natural preventative measures that can be effective in managing and preventing coccidiosis due to scientific reports regarding negative effects of conventional remedies, which are discussed in more detail in part one. Many poultry keepers are turning to natural, holistic approaches as coccidiosis preventatives. Natural remedies for coccidiosis include herbal supplements, beneficial bacteria, herbal tea infusions, and essential oils. We will be focusing on five herbal and spice supplements that are known for their antimicrobial and immune-boosting properties and have become very popular remedies and preventatives for chicken keepers in controlling coccidiosis in their flocks. These herbs include oregano, garlic, thyme, wormwood, and turmeric. We will discuss beneficial bacteria, herbal tea infusions, and essential oils in part three. So stay tuned. Most of us recognize oregano as a culinary herb known for its aromatic flavor, but oregano also contains compounds like carvacrol and thymol, which have antimicrobial and antiparasitic effects. Studies show that oregano essential oil and its active compounds can inhibit the growth of Imeria species, the parasites responsible for coccidiosis in chickens. It's believed that these compounds disrupt the parasite's life cycle and reduce their ability to infect the intestinal tract. Oregano's antioxidant and immune-boosting properties also contribute to its potential as an anticoccidial agent, since a stronger immune response can help chickens resist coccidial infections. Flock owners administer this to their flocks by adding it to the chicken's feed or water. However, as with any treatment or remedy, always consult a veterinarian or a professional resource on the proper dosage and its possible interaction with any other treatments that your chickens might be receiving. Next is garlic. Though actually a root vegetable rather than an herb or spice, garlic has long been used as an herb and as a spice to flavor foods. Equally interesting, garlic has been used for centuries in traditional medicine for its antimicrobial, antiparasitic, and immune-enhancing properties. Garlic contains sulfur compounds like allicin, which have potent biological effects. Many poultry keepers have been feeding crushed garlic cloves or garlic powder to their chickens for years to support overall health and resilience. But research suggests that garlic supplementation can also reduce coccidial oocyst counts in chickens and mitigate the severity of coccidiosis. It is thought that allicin and other sulfur compounds in garlic prevent the coccidia parasite from infecting and reproducing in the host's intestines. Additionally, garlic is believed to stimulate chicken's immune system, resulting in a stronger defense against coccidial parasites, infection, and disease. Thyme is another beneficial herb. Thyme is rich in thymol, carvacrol, and other volatile compounds known for their antimicrobial and antiparasitic properties. It has been used traditionally to treat various infections and digestive issues. Studies demonstrate that thyme extracts or essential oils have the ability to inhibit the growth of Imeria species and reduce coccidial oocyst shedding in chickens. Thymol, in particular, has been identified as a key compound responsible for thyme's anticoccidial effects. Thyme's ability to strengthen intestinal barriers may also contribute to its efficacy in preventing and managing coccidiosis in poultry. Poultry keepers add dried thyme to their chicken's feed and thyme essential oil inside the coop to help deter coccidiosis. 
the herb wormwood and the spice turmeric have also shown hopeful signs for their potential health benefits. However, further research and field trials are needed to validate their efficacy, dosage recommendations, and practical applications. But let's take a look at what research has to say about these two natural remedies so far. Wormwood contains bioactive compounds like absinthin and artemisinin, which exhibit antimicrobial, antiparasitic, and anti-inflammatory properties. Research suggests that wormwood extracts may have potential anticoccidial effects by inhibiting the development and replication of coccidia in the chicken's intestines. While more studies are needed to fully evaluate wormwood's efficacy and safety as an anticoccidial agent, its historical use in traditional medicine and preliminary research findings warrant further investigation into its potential benefits for poultry health. The final holistic remedy is turmeric, a bright yellow spice commonly used in cooking and traditional medicine. It contains a bioactive compound called curcumin, which has garnered attention for its potential health benefits. Curcumin, the primary active compound in turmeric, can inhibit the growth and reproduction of various pathogens, including Imeria species responsible for coccidiosis in chickens. In many circles, turmeric is already well known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Since chronic inflammation and oxidative stress play a large role in coccidiosis pathogenesis, compounds like curcumin in turmeric can help mitigate these factors. By reducing inflammation and oxidative damage in the intestines, turmeric may indirectly support the chicken's immune system against coccidial infections. A robust immune response is crucial for chickens to resist coccidial parasites and prevent severe disease manifestations. Turmeric is known to support gut health by promoting the growth of beneficial gut bacteria, maintaining intestinal integrity, and reducing gut inflammation. A healthy gut environment is less favorable for coccidial parasites to thrive and reproduce, potentially reducing the risk of coccidiosis in chickens. Turmeric's anticoccidial properties may also be enhanced when combined with other natural remedies or additives known for their antimicrobial or immune-boosting effects. For example, combining turmeric with garlic, oregano, or probiotics could create synergistic effects that improve overall efficacy against coccidial infections. Turmeric is generally considered safe for poultry when used in appropriate doses. However, it's essential to consider factors such as formulation and potential interactions with other dietary components or medications. Consulting with a veterinarian or poultry specialist can help determine the optimal dosage and form of turmeric supplementation for chickens. Overall, oregano, garlic, thyme, wormwood, and turmeric are herbs and spices with promising anticoccidial properties based on scientific studies and historical use. Integrating these natural, holistic remedies into poultry diets or supplements may help reduce the incidence and severity of coccidial infections in chickens, but proper dosage, formulation, and veterinary guidance are essential for safe and effective use. It's important for you to know all of your options when it comes to saving the life of your feathered friends. So don't forget to check out part one, which you can click on right here. You don't want to miss learning about the conventional coccidiosis treatments, which are often the only remedies for saving your flock if you have a severe outbreak of coccidiosis.